Alrighty, people. Here's a short and quick uh, defense guide for Hunter's Arena Legends. Hopefully, I can do a pretty good job of uh, demonstrating these tips. And I'll most likely throw in some uh, actual in-game footage of the tips in action. But first up, we're going to go over block. As it's one of the most uh, simplest things to go over. Now, I'm just going to keep blocking. And I want him to destroy the guard. Because, you know, you can't block forever. Otherwise, your guard will break. You got to keep your eye on that stamina bar. So, one more time. And usually what I do is, depending on who I'm fighting or whatnot, if I'm winning or something, I tend to, as soon as my guard is broken, my stamina's out, I tend to use a combo breaker and get out of it. So, now I'm thinking we should go over countering. And for that, let's go for uh, Wukong. Yeah, let's counter Wukong. And uh, it only took five seconds to realize you could block his uh, drop attack. Um, hopefully he can just do a guard break. And guard break is the triangle move. That move right there. Mm, I'm going to take off the stamina consumption and uh, just block. And uh, he's not guard breaking. That was my fault for letting up the block button. He's doing... Ah, oh, crap. He's doing everything but uh, guard break. That's probably the only downside to training mode. There needs to be more options. So right now, I just want him to use the guard break, or martial art as they call it. So... Um, I'm probably just going to throw in some clips of me countering. So for this one, I'm blocking. She guard breaks. She tries to put the second guard break. And I counter it. Same thing again. Guard break. I counter. One final example. And I counter. So in order to counter, you're going to hold R1, which is how you block. And then when you press and hold triangle 2, hold both R1 and triangle, your stance switches up, and that's the counter stance. But the counter stance only counters the martial art. So you'll be sitting there blocking, they'll hit you with one of those martial art moves, and then you'll have to, while still holding R1, press triangle to switch stances up and counter that second hit. Because if you get hit, hit two times with the martial art move then you'll get dizzy and no one wants that it's a 50 50 mix up um i can better explain it by attacking let's attack this wukong okay so we're going to attack this wukong and let's imagine that he's uh blocking okay so let's hit him with the blue stuff so you got one, but if you hit them two times, one, two, they're dizzy. Now no one wants to be dizzy, and so that's when you start countering. That's what the R1 the triangle is for. But it becomes a 50-50 mix-up because you maybe you don't hit them with the second one. You can launch them after the second one and launch them. So if they tried to counter your second blue, blue kick, it would not work because you launched them. Which is why it becomes a guessing game, a 50-50 mix-up. You gotta mix it up sometimes. Um, it really comes down to reaction times. If you can see the animation of the blue stuff coming again, you can hurry up and push triangle and counter it. Sometimes you can just hold R1 and triangle and it might work. But that leads me to the next thing, which is blue stuff with another basic. And that gives you pushback and resets the fight to neutral. Which you might want. And neutral is, uh, this is neutral pretty much right here. It's a stalemate. We're waiting for each other to make the, whoever can bust the first move. You know, we're thinking, contemplating, hey, is his moves are still on cooldown? What is his range of his abilities? Neutral is very important. You have to know your opponent's range of their abilities and whatnot. 
So I'm going to swap to Wukong. And let's just do an experiment. We're going to test out the range of his um, launcher. The only really good move he has is the launcher. It's slow, but it has range. So let's test out the max range of his uh, launcher. You will only really have to worry about such a long range attack if you're like standing still for some reason. And uh, he has a pretty long range for his launcher. Let's scoot back a little bit more. And okay, that's the max range. Now if we use his fourth ability which will give us more range and damage. Now let's see how far we can go back for this. And this will be pretty much an example if um, let's see if you're a neutral and you decide to heal from a distance in front of Wukong. Because realistically you won't be getting hit from this type of range against Wukong because you should always be moving side to side or something. So unless you're standing there healing in front of him at this long range Okay, so he can't combo from, from the very tip of the range, so let me scoot up a little bit. And from that distance, he can combo. Okay. But neutral, or the stalemate, stalemate is pretty much knowing who, who having to bust the first move and knowing the range of each other's moves. Now I'm going to swap back to yu gi -Oh. Alrighty. Now, another little defense tip is pushback. So, pushback would be something like that. That was one martial art or guard break followed by a basic. Has pretty good range. It's good for knocking people off cliffs. Instead of doing a whole combo, short to the point. And it hits them so quick, they probably won't use a combo breaker. But I like Yoongyeon because he is... You can use his launcher and his third ability, which has an insane amount of pushback. It knocks people off cliffs like, like it's nothing. Just for a little demonstration, I could probably knock them off from this distance. Yeah. He has insane... Uh, see that? That's a pretty big distance. If it was a cliff. He's nowhere really near the edge, but from that distance on, it's pretty, pretty good uh, pushback. It has very good pushback and knocks him outside of this arena that ran up into the grass. So that's very, very uh, high distance. Now he's not the only one with moves like this. Characters like uh, Moom Young has good pushback moves, so we can launch him. Second ability, and it pushes him almost into the grass area like right there on the, the border now you can use this to knock someone off or to create distance so you can run away now a combo would be something like like this right here and with that he's outside of uh, knocked off a cliff now I almost forgot about dodging so, dodging is good on everybody, and it's more so effective against different people. Mum Young has doo-doo range, so dodging is very effective against this guy. So, you can see his range is trash, but it's counteracted by the high damage he can do. But, just to show you, we're going to block, we're going to do an experiment of stamina management of comparing how much stamina I use to block his whole combo versus um, dodging. All right. Okay. Now let's see my stamina. We're at just about half stamina from blocking his entire basic attack string. Now let's go for the dodging. And the best way to dodge is to dodge after big moves or at the end of their string. Oh, he's doing extra stuff. Come on. Just want to see the stamina um, comparison. So let's block. Roll. And 
Okay, I forgot to block again, but it looks like it's already left. So one, two, three. Let's get out of there. And let's turn him off. And yeah, less stamina consumption. And so the best way to dodge is efficiently. You don't want to spam dodge because then you'll use up a lot of stamina. But you want to the to dodge efficiently. And the only way to dodge that way is to learn the character's move set. And when their big moves are coming and when so you know when to dodge now uh, oh I almost forgot okay so in training mode it's a very good time to read up on all your abilities and what they do and how to how to use them but I'm pretty sure there's some people who didn't know that mm, Moon Myung's passive ability it says hold, hold basic to go into stealth mode I'm pretty sure there are some Moom Young players who didn't know that. So it's a good way to, to come in here and practice. I wish practice mode was a little bit better. As you can see, that way you can sp practice specific things, specific, specific scenarios. But let's say you're playing with June. We're going to go up and get some Momo. And uh, you see his passive down there, double double dash. And, you know, that's pretty good, yeah. But it eats up your stamina like crazy. But then, let's say you read it again, and it says, oh, if you dodge a projectile, you can quickly dash to the opponent. Hmm, let's try that out. And so you can just um, activate Momo, and we can try it out. And what do you know? It works. Let's try it again. Boom. Maybe I waited too long. That was kind of iffy on that one. And again. But you don't have to um, get out of here. But you don't have to use that move. So if you're not June and you're going up against Momo, you can just walk sideways. That works. As long as it's a big enough area, you can just walk sideways. Now another way to do it would be to block. Unless she's doing extra. And then you roll. Three attacks, roll. But you can just walk to the side, dash up, get up in there. Now if it's a tight area, you can just block, block, roll under it, and you're banning her face again. Now that's pretty much the end of this video. Hopefully I did a good job of, of explaining some things. Hopefully I did. Hopefully you learned something new today. And I can do a combo real quick on Momo. Just to end the video. So, I believe Momo has probably the lowest amount of health in the game. And I don't know any other character in training mode that I have been able to kill in the combo. Look at that. She has just over a thousand health. And I've already showed you how to dodge her attacks. But anyway, that's the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and learned something. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.